lesson of life from Abel. He was a worshipper. You and I have been created to worship God for his pleasure. When you worship God, that's when your life's purpose, the purpose of your existence, the purpose of your creation is being fulfilled. Oh, oh yes, <clears throat> worship can be ver verbal through prayers and songs, but worship needs to be a lifestyle. Abel brought his best to God just to say that, Lord, you are first on my list. You are my first priority. I will seek you and your kingdom and your righteousness first. You and I are invited to worship God. That's when the purpose of our creation is fulfilled. Well, it's not just spiritual, but in every area of your life, you will see the gracious hand of God guiding you, causing you to prosper in everything that you do and wherever you are. Joseph, also a worshipper, was someone who received dreams and visions from God and his lifestyle was a lifestyle of worship, whether in the pit or in Potiphar's house or in prison or in palace. A lifestyle of worship you and I are invited to. God bless you.